Hey boys, Skills of Minecrafting here, and today I'll be building a home for a uh, future home basically. Um, anyway, uh, this home is a three story mansion, um, pretty big. I can't remember the ratio of it, but it is a pretty big home, um, and honestly, I like it. So, anyway, here we go. I'll just do a quick tutorial of it. Well, not much of a tutorial, more of a walkthrough of it just showing you the ropes anyway um so this is just a quick preview of it so we'll just bring you all, way all the way around as you can see there is four maybe five rooms in this home I can't really remember there's your backyard you've got your pool you've got a little dining area at the back the backyard is not completely done yet though but yes um, and then you got your front yard. This is a more of a Zen garden. People say um, we like you got like a little out front door patio, as you could say, and you got on both sides. And over here we have your garage. Obviously, no cars are in it. I don't know how to build cars. And that's just an extra exit through the back. There are two exits to the back: one on this side and one on the other side. So now we're going to be going through here. And first door leading inside my mansion, soon to be our mansion. She'll know who it is. You guys. Well, oh, fuck it. Shut up. Anyway, um, anyway. So this is the first floor of my mansion. We're gonna take a quick tour over here, and as you can see, there is a pretty big plasma TV, uh, speakers. You could probably say Dolby surround sound. Um, chairs, a little coffee table with uh, pistons, your little, little basically a mini reading area for you sit down and get a book and read. Then we have over here a little kitchen right over there and as you see I have actually um, updated my Minecraft so now you can see the water and it's a little area here where you just with glowing with glowstone on the ground and the water to make it pretty bright. Anyway, so you got your little cupboards, uh, a fridge that actually does work. Obviously, I haven't put anything in there. Um, you got your little sink, uh, cutting tables, uh, bench. Uh, sorry, not bench. A another little thing. Okay, pantry, I guess you could say. And you got your little chests to keep your things in. And so this is for your plates, um, saucepans, your main things. And it's just like a little mini table. Um, so now we're going to take a tour over here. And this is our dining room table. Uh, sits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 14, 13, 14 people maybe. Um, and yeah, your little paintings over here, glowstone. All above here, I know it's too much closer, but it's the only play way I could brighten this place up. Um, so now we are going to head upstairs to our first three places. Uh, so we'll start over here, and this is the study. It's another couple of paintings, a uh, little miniature library, I guess, and you got your own place we can study. And now, if you head over here, up towards up there is our master bedroom third and final story of this home. Uh, out here is a little balcony with a hot tub, which I haven't fully played. This is how it just has to go. And yeah. yeah let's get out somehow. There we go. And yeah, you can just look uh, along here. At least not like that, but you know. And a little couple of windows. Should I actually might Over here we have our first, our uh, second bedroom, which is the boys' room. In case you know you have a family, a uh, little area here you can play, in, uh, study I guess. Little. Over here is your wardrobe, and over here is your bed, which you can legit sleep in, but you know it's not daytime. And you got another little reading area over here. And now. 
next as you saw before is the girls room which I have noticed which either you have noticed I mean which I've actually color coded it with uh, pink for girls and boy and blue for boys it's the same room design not the fully same though but you know you got your study wardrobe uh, bed little rating area and I've used light grey wool for the uh, floorings for all my rooms this, which is red and black wool, blue wool, and yeah, um, there's another little balcony over there, and over here is the bathroom, which you have your little sink, your uh, uh, spa, I guess you could say, and your little, uh, I forgot to get rid of those, but your little shower, which I actually might quickly leave this just make it more realistic with hot and cold levers for your sh wo uh, showers and now for the third and final uh, uh, room which is all upstairs but before I show you this is another balcony over here there are a total of four balconies um, and you've got all the way upstairs which leads to the master bedroom, the biggest room in the house. You have your four poster bed, your little, and this is a little bit of the balcony over here, um, your reading area over there, right there where you can get your books, and a big wardrobe for your wife or something like that. Yeah, it's it's big. Um, so, and here is your four poster bed. You can sleep in it, uh, but haven't fully worked it out, should have probably brought that up a bit actually. Um, but yeah. And here you go, Maddie's personal drawing room. Uh, that's my girlfriend's name. Um, seeing as she likes drawing, I gave her a little area where you can just draw and hang your paintings up, like so. And now, just go down here. Which that shouldn't really be there. Oh well, I'll fix it up later. Um, now we are going to go outside the balcony and as you see there's little pathways on both sides this is basically the exact same area we have pathways to your dining room your like dining tables for the outside and your pool right here it's pretty deep so be careful And we'll just quickly fly all the way over. And this is the uh, bird's eye view of your uh, home. Which is pretty, it's like a maze you could say. It's big though. It's really big as you could see. Just gonna drop. And that is it for this uh, walkthrough. Um, so thank you everybody. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember, stay crafty. Oh, that's what, um, what's his face, Kadaka would say, but, you know, everybody's got to say it one day. See ya.